One of the real strengths of using object-based image analysis is that we can start to get a handle on some of the other pieces of information that we can get out of an image as opposed to just the spectral information. So for example, if I if I click on if, if I bring up the objects that I have already created in this image using the multi-resolution segmentation for example, I can click on any of those objects and I can get information in the image object information down the bottom right about the average spectral value in that object for each of the different spectral bands. However, the perhaps even more powerful is that we can start looking at other other aspects of these individual objects. So for example, we can look at the area of objects, the length, the width, the length divided by the width, various different homogeneity or textural um, aspects of different objects. And if you have a look in this, in the bottom left hand corner, I've got the option to pull up feature view. And basically what this allows me to do is to view the image based on information in those individual objects and there's there's a whole host of different different um, aspects that you can look at I guess. So we'll just turn off the the object outlines to start with and so for example I can look at the image based on the average blue values alright so I can see areas where it's darker blue and where there's less blue spectral um, response and where there's more more blue spectral response. Um, I can I can look at any of the different spectral values like that also. Um, other things that I could look at is to display the image based on based on areas of objects. So if I look at that, basically you can see the the brighter features have uh, have a larger area than the darker features. The so the small dark features there, and that might be useful if you're looking at say. The, the difference between industrial buildings versus um, urban residential or something like that. I could look at an indice based on the length and width of objects and you can see here we've got a, a bright feature that comes through here so these are these are long narrow objects and if you actually have a look at what that is if I just go back to the, the original layer you can see that that long narrow object is some sort of a road or a track so these, these aspects we can actually bring into the classification to say, okay, perhaps we find, find objects that are long and skinny um, and, they, and they reflect a lot of light and perhaps that might be, um, might be a road as opposed to a building which also reflects a lot of light but isn't long and skinny. So you can use that as your decider for making that um, particular rule. You can have a look at different shapes of features, um, also textural information. So, for example, I might have a look at the the texture of the near infrared band as this is coming up now, and so you would expect that that certain features appear to be rougher than others. And the idea is that when we look at imagery, our uh, our own mind or in, in human intelligence we actually use a lot of these interpretation cues ourselves when we analyse imagery but pixel based spectral classifiers are really just taking into account the colour and the intensity of colour within an image when you're looking at a classification but by using a, an object based classification method we should be able to incorporate a lot of the other cues that we use intuitively when we're looking at imagery so up here I've got the, the near infrared um, homogeneity um, shown. So we can have a look perhaps at this at an object here which is bright. So that's got a that's got a high homogeneity index. And let's have a look at what that actually is in the image. And we'll see that some sort of um, it appears to be either the top of a building or something like that. And you would expect that to be homogeneous in terms of its its colouring as well. So if we go back to the um, to the homogeneity index as well, something that's that has a low index value is something that's dark. So I pick on that particular object and have a look at what that is in your image, and that's an area where there's vegetation growing. And I would expect that also to be less homogeneous, as you have areas where there's where there's shadowing within trees and that sort of thing. So this starts to 
give you an indication of the real power of using object-based image analysis because you can start to bring in all these different features based on based on your individual objects that you couldn't have done within per pixel classification.